Well, I want to thank Governor Hochul for her extraordinary and strong leadership, her vision for how she can protect the freedoms of women across this country is inspiring and hopeful for so many. So thank you, Governor, for your leadership. Reproductive freedom has been under attack intensely since Roe v. Wade was overturned. The Dobbs decision didn't just make it impossible for women to get reproductive care. The Dobbs decision denied women the right to privacy. 22 states have followed that court's ruling, denying women reproductive freedom. And this Texas decision goes the next step, further defining what the denial of right to privacy looks like. It means no right to privacy in the mail. Imagine what that would mean to you. Imagine that you, any person in this country, has no right to privacy in the mail. The government can read your mail. The government can stop your mail. The government can do whatever they want with your private information. This is an outrage. This decision is not going to stop here. The next type of medicine they will deny, why wouldn't they deny your reproductive care for birth control? Why wouldn't they deny the ability to have vaccines? If any judge, and this Texas judge in particular, can decide based on his or her view of the world what's right for someone's body, what's right for their medical care, there's no stopping what this line of jurisprudence could cause, the harm it could cause all across this nation for patients. Make no mistake, this is an all-out assault on women's reproductive freedom, our civil rights, our civil liberties, and our right to privacy. Many colleagues across this country, both our state colleagues and our federal colleagues, are fighting back. I have just signed on to an amicus brief signed by 50 other senators. This amicus brief is going to give voice to women and families across America that we will not stand for the eradication of our right to freedom and our right to privacy. Women have a right to reproductive care, life-saving care, and we are going to fight this in every court and in every venue that we can find because American women and their families deserve freedom and privacy.